Just in case that sign is a little blurry for you, it says bridge out. For those who don't know, a few months after the flood hit my house, the Keweenaw Peninsula had its own flooding disaster. Entire city streets were washed away, and of course a lot of the trail system was destroyed. Now being over a year later, I guess I just assumed they had all been fixed. I should have done some more research and maybe done some more calling around. But for better or worse, we had reservations at the Pines Resort in Copper Harbor for tonight, and we were going to make it there one way or another. We found another section of trail and jumped back on, assuming that we had gotten around the closed bridge. But like I said in the last video, that wouldn't be how my UP trips traditionally go. This is just one example of what we found for destroyed roads and trails. We were hitting dead ends at every turn, and the only progress we were making was on the blacktop, on roads we probably weren't supposed to be on anyways. Now here we had some hope. The trail was right there, but we couldn't find a way to get up to it. We finally navigated our way through this little town to where we thought we were going to pick up another trail. And we did, but for how long? You guys know I don't usually like to show you miles and miles of straight trails with nothing significant to see, so I'll just summarize the last little bit. We drove for quite a while, we stopped to talk to some locals, who told us we should have taken the trail through Calumet to avoid the trail issues instead of the loop we had taken, and now we're here. We stopped for a break, and to throw up the drones and see what we could see.
I'm just going to fill you in on what you're about to miss. We finished our ride to Copper Harbor, almost running out of gas in the process. Turns out you can really push these machines when you don't have a choice. We crossed a creek, which I'll show you later, checked into our motel rooms, and headed out to find the farthest point we could go in northern Michigan. We are on a beach made of rocks. Well, it's got stuck in the rocks. what I would call these rocks. How cool. For guys trip 2019. The old razor sitting on top of the mountain. Well, good morning from Copper Harbor. It is day two of the ride on our way back. And what's a trip without some work? Had a little issue yesterday with the toe on my machine. Some of my suspension parts came loose. I'll admit it, I should have checked them. Ryan and the guys decided to jump in and help. He's doing most of the work. Just getting these two tires tightened back up. What happened? was the tie rods, the nuts and the tie rods backed off on me. And on the trail we ended up, ended up with a uh, extreme toe out, I'm sorry, toe, toe in condition. Tires were towed in ridiculously far because the, the bars were loosening and extending the back. So we tried to fix it as best we could on the trail. We got to the road and started chopping tires. I know you can't feel that, but they're pretty rough and jagged. When your alignment's off, that's what happens. So, we got up this morning before some people were ready to wake up. And uh, got the toe fixed using the string method. I won't explain it because it's not really um, scientific. And then we're going to rotate front to back here. So we can smooth out those chopped tires and save my expensive lugs here. So uh, we're gonna head for breakfast after this. Looks like wait, looks like I'm buying, and uh, we'll get on our way. We got a lot of riding to do. We're gonna try and make it down to the trestle bridge, even though it's gonna be out of our way for the way we came. That's fine. I tested my alignment, and there's no rubber whirring or nothing. So I think we're good to go on more pavement because that's what my UP trips tend to do is rock a lot of pavement so uh, stay tuned and we'll see you on the trail driving 
on an asphalt trail designated for four-wheelers and side-by-sides to go through town. I think that says a lot about their local economy and attracting business, because obviously this is for snowmobiles too. But we'll be getting our escort across the bridge here shortly, so we'll, uh, we'll show you that in a minute. Thanks for watching our Guys Trip 2019 video series. It was another great trip with our group of friends. And even though we don't know where we're going next year, it's sure to be a good time. Next week will be the start of our Black Mountain videos. So make sure and subscribe and hit that notification bell to keep up with all of our Razor adventures.